Hello everyone, welcome to Abhipedia. This is Abhishek Sharma and today we'll be talking about Bharat 22 ETF. Now first and foremost we should understand what is this exchange traded fund in particular. See, this is a good mechanism for government to ensure sufficient amount of funding through a particular channel of disinvestment in its public sector enterprises. So exchange traded funds are linked to one or the other of exchange and they are listed there. So they will be tracking the whole index. The assets are pooled into one particular fund and these assets may belong to n number of companies. So here since the name itself suggests Bharat 22, so there are 22 different stocks which will be tracked within this particular exchange traded fund. All of their assets are pooled together and they will be listed on the stock exchange so they can move up and down. And as they trade the investors who have put in their money in this exchange traded fund, they get to earn or lose their money. So this is how the things are going to happen within this ETF. Now as far as this Bharat 22 ETF is concerned, with respect to UPSC, in prelims they can ask you certain questions with respect to this particular fund. First of all, who is the regulator of all this, so that is SEBI. Then who launched this fund, so that is Union Ministry of Finance. Then within this Bharat 22 ETF, what are the six basic sectors on which they are focusing? So in order of uh, the weightage, the six sectors on which this particular fund will be focusing are, there is industrials, there will be finance, there will be utilities, energy, FMCG and basic materials. So these are six sectors that you should remember. Don't try to mug up the 20.3% or 20.6% kind of weightages that they have. Just need to remember this particular order. I'm repeating it. Industries, finance, utilities, energy, FMCG, and basic materials. So this is the six sectors that you should remember. More than this, the uh, ETF will be representing the stocks of your central public sector enterprises, your public sector undertaking banks, PSU banks, and certain assets of SUUTI, that is, you know, specialized undertakings of Unit Trust of India Limited. So that includes funds from Axis Bank, that includes funds from LIC and so many other companies. One particularly important aspect is that uh, who has, which is the company which has taken up, you know, the launching of SNP platform or uh, Standard Poor platform of the BSC Bharat 22 ETF. So that company is the Axis India Private Limited. This you must know. So that is the fund manager for the BSC listing of this Bharat 22 ETF. So this much uh, preliminary information is sufficient for this. From the means point of view, this is to be correlated in the uh, disinvestment criteria or the policy of the government of India. And therein, it can rationalize the funds for uh, its public sector undertakings in this manner and uh, help the small investors to gain this as an opportunity so that uh, not just their uh, uh, investment is happening in the public sector enterprises, those are profit making. Moreover, one more thing that can be ensured is that their risk portfolio will also be diversified. They will not be uh, risking their investment in one particular asset since this is 22 different stocks all clubbed together. So they will move up and down and their weighted average will therefore uh, probably move up rather than down. So that's why your risk gets diversified a bit. So this is how these uh, particular uh, in instruments, they help both the small investor to find good investment routes as well as the government to find uh, a good kind of uh, disinvestment policy so that the risk factors and the investment factors both can be balanced well. Alright, so thank you so much for tuning in and uh, hope you like the video. Press the bell icon for having the latest subscriptions with respect to this channel and the economy's basic concepts. Thank you so much. All the best for your examination.